Hey guys, we're at the alligator farm. We're, we're gonna see and feed alligators. Are you excited? Let's do this Everglades alligator farm. We are excited. Boom. You're gonna go in and see an alligator. What do you think? Are you nervous? Or are you, you super excited? You always do it with that alligator. We do, and the reason is because he tolerates people a lot better than most other alligators. He understands that we're just here to interact with him. And uh, once we're done with this, then he, you're gonna see he's not gonna run away or get angry. He's just gonna lay back down. All right, and then you're gonna grab right um, by the, where this tape is. No, and you where the tape is. And wrap your thumb over top. Yeah, and you're gonna just support the head. Okay, got it. This is seriously legit. <laughs> that gator's gonna bite mommy. Hey, you wanna come over to mommy? Come on over to mommy. Okay, Don't so you're gonna come, no, come right over here, just whatever Mr. Luke or Mr. Lee says yep. to do. And just look to the camera, big smile. Look. Right up there. Do you want to touch him? You're gonna use, is he okay? Should mommy him? give him a big kiss? Uh, when, no. No. Wait, when you get up, then we'll have Lee go ahead and cover the eyes and we'll let him, we'll let him touch him. Okay, see, but look at him, honey. Isn't he so Can cool? Can I see now? See what he feels like. No. No, it's okay. He's very soft. Ooh. Well, if I Jurassic Park is true, Spinosaurus won that one. Come over to Mr. Lee. Come down here. But what do you, what I want you to touch him right here. Feel soft. See? Jack, tell me how does he this feel, is honey? The softest part, bud. Can just touch him. Come on in there. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Touch him right here. And if you really want to be wild, come over here and you can touch his teeth. <gasps> Whoa. That's so cool. Let's see what his teeth feel like. Go ahead. How about up to here? Then that's going to be perfect. You don't want to go too much higher because you want to. So Luke had said some of these weigh up to six to seven hundred pounds. Are there a few alligators? How many can you guys count? Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh my gosh. They're all coming over to you. As soon as they see us, they're going to be on their way over. Do me a big favor, okay? What? Don't put your hands below here. No. All right, because they can jump very high. So we're going to keep our hands right above this uh, this hole. Oh. Now, when you feed these guys, okay, uh, just feed anyone you like. Don't feel bad for anyone, all right? Nobody in here is particularly hungry. Let's see it. What? Keep going. You want to throw, try to throw it maybe in, yeah, to its mouth or I don't know, whatever the strategy is. Whoa! Just it in what? Just try to drop it in its mouth. How about this guy right here? Can I ask you? Whoa! <laughs> that was hot. Do you know why? Because uh, two hit each other's head. Yeah, dogs can break teeth off every now and again. But every alligator will cycle through about two to three thousand teeth. Here we got him. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> you think that hot? I hope it no, not. That's tiny. Oh, is that what you wanted to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. The difference between an alligator and a crocodile. Crocodile is a much stronger bite. Well, they're about the same, actually. But if you look at the crocodile's head, see how it's long and narrow and pointed? Yeah. The alligators are what? Soft. Very rounded. It's like almost a straight line just to a rounded point. And these guys, very narrow. And also the color. This guy's going to be much lighter in color. Almost like an olive tan. You guys ready to see some baby alligators? I don't know about you, but I am. Let's do it. Is he friendly? Uh, no alligator is really friendly. Now, the way you're not going to get bit today is very easy. So you're going to open your hand all the way up, okay? See how his front legs are right on top? Yeah. You can just wrap your fingers around him. And he can't turn to bite you. How? 
See, he could turn if he wants, but he can't turn to bite me. You hold on to that little tail, you get some awesome pictures, okay? Hear that sound Guys, and they become very aggressive. Alligator. And we don't want so this is probably, would you say, about like 12 inches, well, but a, a foot and a half, 12 this. inches. And that's not good. And the, can you hear the different sound he's making? He's calling for his mama. And we're gonna put him back in just a minute, but looking at how small this is, the babies are compared to when they become adults, right? We just saw that grandpa with the length was about 14 feet. So that's a big difference, isn't it? And can you see, can you look down? Look at him. And I can feel the back of his tail is squishing and he said let me go back so we're gonna put him back but these are native creatures too so many parts of the world but particularly in florida right Ooh, they sound very friendly Got it. He's smiling. Sweet. Is he the funniest one? He is. Would he bite me even if he had the chance? Yes. Because he's an alligator. How would he bite me if he had the chance? With his teeth. With his teeth and his mouth and his aggression. But isn't he fun? Friendly? Oh, see, when we say friendly and alligator in the same sentence, um, those are very relative terms. It doesn't necessarily mean friendly like I'm friendly to you. It means friendly like they won't always try to bite. But if given the chance, they won't hesitate to do it. And the alligator you're holding right now is about three years old. Okay, so he's about three years old. About three years old. He's so, he just feels calm right now, obviously. I know you yeah, he's much more tolerant of uh, okay. people holding him than okay. anyone else in here. Everyone what else does in here tolerant would be, mean? Would be angry. So what does tolerant mean? That means that he would he puts up with right being held and we're really gentle, right? Yeah, so hold him after mom? No. I'm just <laughs> Oh, this is why I asked you if you could lift twenty pounds. Sometimes he's about twenty five pounds. Feel like on weekends. Yeah, he just sit there. Yeah. Watch, he can sink those eyes into his sockets. Disappear. Now watch the moment. See that? That's called a nictitating membrane. That lens it rolls back, and they use that underwater, kind of like we use goggles, but not for seeing so much, more for protection. If you want to do that, just put your hand completely flat. There you go. Don't poke him directly in the eye. There you go. Just like that, and lift your hand. And that protects the alligator's eyes in case another alligator bites him in the head. Okay, what honey. is this soft white heel for? It's so he can swallow things a little larger than his own head. It kind of stretches a little bit so he can swallow big things. Hey guys, if you like today's episode, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're in the area coming to Homestead, Florida, in the Everglades, okay. to check out the Everglade Alligator Farm. Do you think it was super awesome? Yeah. Let's do it. What a great day to be in Florida.